Oop, hang on guys, setting this up. Alright. Hey guys, HK here, and like I said in my last video, just showing off those Nintendo themes, I've got a little surprise today. As you can see, got my Majora's Mask limited edition new Nintendo 3DS XL, and we're gonna unbox this bad boy. So, here's the box. This is the design with the front of it. On the back, it's just a little ad about Nintendo and everything, and now we're gonna just dive right into this. Pretty damn excited for this, you know? Been a big fan for a while. Majora's Mask is one of the games where I haven't really had a chance to play, so I've been really excited to really play this game. Let's see, we can put this back here next to Faceless. Looks like you got your manual here with your AR cards as usual. Um, this one does not come with the 3DS uh, a charger, so you do have to buy that yourself. Or unless you have a, oops, there goes the box. Unless of course you have a 3DS XL like uh, mine, or you know, if you just bought one here previously, then there shouldn't be a problem. Fortunately, I had a, a 3DS beforehand, so yeah. Actually, let me go grab it so we can compare it. Alrighty, sorry. Okay, so first let's get this bad boy out. The moment of truth. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. This is amazing. So it's very glossy. You got you can pretty much see the reflection of my stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys didn't see my camera setup because that's pretty bad. Let's check out the back. Again, beautiful gold finish. It's just all around, just really glossy, and this is a really amazing piece. Wow. I'm very excited, or not very excited, but very happy with my purchase. You see the design? Let's take a closer look. There's Majora's Mask. Yeah, the Fierce Deity Link on the bottom right. The Zora Transformation on the top right. And on the left side, you've got the Goron on the bottom left, as well as the Deku or transformation on the top left so awesome definitely it's an amazing little piece right here I can't wait to play it I actually have a I waited all night in front of a fries I got there like at 10 p.m. crazy there was a line already and I was just there for the figure it was crazy but I got it so I'll go ahead and show that to you guys too in a sec let's take a first take a look at the inside so it's a matte finish. I'm sure you guys probably seen that before. Again, beautiful. Here's a C stick that you've you've seen so much about. You got like these nice little colored buttons. Not as cool as the ones from the um, Japan version. I really like those colored buttons, but these are really nice. And then of course, I believe the next uh, thing they have on the back is the um, what is it? Extra bumpers. But if you notice, they changed some of the layouts here because before these buttons would be on the bottom right here. But looks like they put it over here on the side, and your home button is right here now. So let's go ahead and check out those bumpers. So now you got two bumpers on each side. So we'll see how they use that for the games. I believe more Majora's Mask does not really have a use for that yet. So. Um, we'll probably see that from future or for future games coming out soon. Then you utilize these buttons more often. And then, ooh, they feel wow, they got a nice clicky sound to them too. That's really nice. And of course, with the new model, with all the new tech and stuff they put into it, they had to move stuff around. So now you have your charger on the top right, or not the top right, but on the top of the 3DS right here. And then, of course, on the bottom now, instead of uh, having your 3DS pen on the side like you would here, I'm gonna take out my. Pokemon 3DS right there, but yeah, you have usually have the the pen on the side, your SD card right there, and yeah, then you'd have your uh, let's see, your your charger and stuff on the top right, and then your game in the back. But of course, they changed things around, so now you actually have your game. Uh, you put your games cards in the bottom of the 3DS, pins on the bottom, power button bottom, and yeah, just everything else is just purely gold about this I haven't got to turn it on yet so I'm excited to see how this will be but I'm not gonna turn it on just yet I have to 
I have to take out the um, card and everything. I purchased a 32 gigabyte SD card or micro SD card so I could stick it in here. So I gotta wait for that. And then let's see. I believe, oh yeah, of course. So now, of course, we've got to show off this bad boy. So unfortunately, I think it's a little too uh, big to show the whole thing on screen. I've got a really awkward setup, so we'll just go ahead and take this stuff out. Um, unfortunately, when I bought, I, so I waited in line for this all, all night, and of course, what happens is I finally get it. It's awesome, and I get home, and when I when I take it out and uh, get out of my car, the door closes shut on the book, and luckily I didn't do too much damage. But as you can see, the box is messed up here, there, and I got a few creases on the top too. So slightly disappointed with that. I really love this box. It's uh, it's got like the um on the back you can see it has like the whole like uh like little um all the little things about it, it has the artwork on the back well and like information and about just like everything about the game and of course in the front you got this nice little display to show off skull kid all right so now let's go ahead and open this bad boy up uh, hopefully without messing it up again sorry for since it seems like you probably won't be able to see the whole thing from or the whole box from here um i have a really awkward camera setup unfortunately and I haven't ordered a webcam yet or anything, so I can't exactly do, um, just like, you know, have it mounted and do that. Alright. I actually need something sharp. Where's my box cutter? Don't worry. I'm not gonna cut the box, just the tape. Oh, shit. I almost cut myself. <laughs> that would've been bad. Alrighty. Alright, the moment of truth. And here's Skull Kid in all his glory inside this plastic. Let's go ahead and take him out. Ooh, nice and easy. Wow. This is high quality for $10 extra. That is definitely worth the 10 extra dollars for the damn thing, whoa. So, this is the Skull Kid figure statue that comes with the limited edition. $10 extra gets you this, and it is great quality. I was not expecting this for just $10 extra. It looks amazing in person. I'm not sure how it looks in the video, but it looks amazing, so. You got Skull Kid right here. Let's just do like a little turnaround. Yeah, this is amazing. The detail on this is great. I'm certainly gonna keep this on my shelf. It's gonna stay there for a long, long time. And then on the bottom, his base, you can see that it says, or, well, I don't know. I guess you can't see because it's a little dark, but it just has the Zelda logo on it. Wow, that's fantastic. And then let's see what else I believe we also have. The game, of course. So, now you've seen what I've got. Let's see if this can stay there. Doesn't want to stay. Eh, it's okay. So yeah, guys. Uh, that's the Majora's Mask and Skull Kid figure. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. And, you know, I might as well show off something else too while I'm at it. Well, I'm not going to unbox it, but... Boom. Got this baby too. I'm playing, I'm playing lots of Monster Hunter, so... I won't make videos of that, of course, because the capture card is insane. Or insanely pricey. But, this is definitely one of my best purchases I've, I've made. It was totally worth staying at 9 p.m. <laughs> for this figure. Stood in line. I was in line for 11, 12 hours, but it was totally worth it. All right, well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, maybe I'll do a separate one for Monster Hunters 4 Ultimates. What's left to be decided. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did like this video, please go ahead and subscribe, like, and all that jazz. Comment, and yeah. Um, I'm, I might little do a little review on the 3DS. I have been keeping track of what's been going on with it, and 
don't know. I know there's been a lot of reviews already, but you know, it never hurts to kind of like add your own little thing to it. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is HK, and I will see you later.